and we are back with some more FX Championship round number 11 here in Belgium. And so after 10 rounds, here is the Drivers' Championship. Amor in the lead by 13 points over Orange Bear. And the Batchman, 21 point bind, down in third position. And the Constructors, Pink has the lead with 200 points. 12 points over purple with 100, 188 points. And here are the qualifying results. Batista on pole position for the third time in a row. And the fifth time this season. Second pole position here in Belgium. The second in a row, also beating his own fastest lap uh, last year of one minute five seconds and six, beating it with a one minute and five seconds. So, in the previous race. He finally was able to convert a pole position into a victory. And so here, now with his seventh pole position of his career, will he be able to get back-to-back -back conversions? Followed by, on the front row with Batista is Amor. Followed by Lasser. Bashman. Orange Bear, Smith, Marcus, Metal, Kruger, Jimenez, and Disco G on the last row of the grid. And so here we are, race day in Belgium. Rainy beginnings, 20 minutes under the rain, 27 degree track temperature. And so here we go. The second to last race, the penultimate race here in Europe for the European Tour. As we have some side by side action. The same thing happened with the F1 race. So I wonder if the same accidents are gonna happen, and it looks like they are. Batista, that's all I needed to see. Look at the chaos. So early in this race. This time I was able to record it as Disco Jimmy is up to third position. Unbelievable. See, we need more more track on tracks like this. Where these these cars start side by side. So they have no choice, I guess, but to crash into one another. You know, as they try to all get into one line, they're already turning. Makes it for a very interesting dynamic. And now, this happens.
Disco Genie's third position will soon be in jeopardy because I'm gonna have to overtake him since the other ones are just eventually gonna catch up. Ooh, well, it looks like two of them are already gone. That's what you were hoping for, and so now. I'm gonna feed him to the lion. As Melo is in second position. So Melo was in, <coughs> started in eighth. Disco Jimmy started in eleventh. As we are wondering who is in first position. Behind Disco Jimmy. How long will it take before its podium oaks are over? Oh, <clears throat> looks like the over. Oh! Yo, these dudes, man, they kill me, bro. Alright, last turn in first position. Started in third position. Bro. Uh, what are you doing? Are y'all not? Bro, I. Man, if I, oh, I really wanted to just stay there, bro. Yo, who's a great car, man, with this low IQ like this? Bashman or Orange Bear, bro? Both you men's is... Yo, yo, oof. Y'all need some help, man. Damn. Now, Al Smith is in third position after the pit stop. Disco Jimmy went up a position. From, fifth, from sixth to third, Disco Jimmy from eleventh now in second. Also went with the soft tires. And now I'm seeing Batista go in the pit. Was he in first position? It doesn't look like it. Looks like it was more of a... I mean, it should be LaSalle, honestly, unless something happened, but hey, I was curious still. Yeah, but Batista, yeah, but I saw you early, you crashed early, you, had, you got into a collision early, and now look at you, still on wet tires, finished wet tires. When it's time for dry tires.
And LaSalle comes into the pit for some hard tires as I keep going because I did not know who that was. No. Oh! So we get LaSalle in first position, but Disco Jimmy right behind with the Super Soft and Melo before El Smith. Amour. Well, I think Smith had hard tires. That's probably why he's not. He hasn't come in. Yo, I saw. I started this recording at like less than fifty percent, but nearly less. Nearly fifty percent. It was less than that. And bro, I really can't play around with this. Man, you gotta start over with 100%. Recording will ease your battery up. That is tough. And look at that. L. Smith for not pitting. Still in second position. With less than two laps to go to this Belgian Grand Prix. Um, we can definitely say it is the victory for Lasser, one that has a top five car, but has not had a very good season, but has a contract on his head, so you can't do nothing about it. Or well, else, made right here. Would like to gather some points. He's had a decent season. You know, he's been able to survive compared to to others. Now Disco Jimmy takes the position. Oh, 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 oh. And Batiste, no, 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 no. Ooh, Melo, oh, Melo got to escape. But somebody got into the accident. That is tough. And so as we go into the final lap. Wow. Wow. Melo, talking about people that wish I had a good season like El Smith. Melo is one of these individual world champion down in the relegation zone. Oof. You know, I could guarantee a spot for a world champion like, uh, you know, make sure that Jimenez gets a top five car, but no, no. It's just, I'm, I'm really playing on this. I'm really accepting this random element to this. And somebody, Disco Jimmy is pitting. Oh, man, I swear, bro, you need to go, fam. You need, bro, like. You need, I swear, fam. You better watch out, man. If they can get a better deal than you, bro, they will. Wow, he with a top five car can't produce, man. Looking like Bashman. Now look at him. Switch teams. Now look at him. Now, because of a misclick, I gotta verbally tell you the podium for this um, Belgian Grand Prix with the win. It is L. Smith with a first victory this season and a third podium. In second, it is the leader of this championship, Amour, with a sixth podium. 
and in third position it is this Kojimi and as you can see three podiums in a row or third podium in a row and the fifth of this season and so for their career it is a third victory for Smith and a sixth podium a 45th podium for Amour and a 66th podium for Disco Jimmy one more and he will overtake Tony as the driver with the most po or well overtake Tony for the second driver with the most podium ever so congratulations for Disco Jimmy, man. We are a really close to, funny enough, a milestone that will not be counted unless he gets to, um, I mean, maybe it will. I don't know. No, he needs to overtake Paul. He needs to overtake Paul for me to, for me to give him anything. All right, 71 podium is the goal. All right, being second, with the most pawn, it, it don't matter. Congratulations, but no. Get 72 pawns or podiums, big respect. And so we are here with the true race results. Six to first for L. Smith, second to second for Amor, and fourth to third. Actually, wow. Eleven, the third for Disco Jimmy. I have Bastion's actual position, but you know, CBA. And so, what it means for the constructors is a twenty-seven point lead now for Amor. <clears throat> Orange Bear still in second position. L Smith going up to third. Bashman to fourth. And this Jimmy in fifth position. Batista with a sixth position has been able now to drop Lasser to now a eight point lead over Melo. So, Lassa and Marcus being the pointless or having a pointless race here in Belgium. For constructors, it is tied at 206 points with the red 33 points behind, yellow 64 points behind. Is uh, a oh, so man consistent consistent. Um, consistent races will be needed or results will be needed man look at this Kojimi man three podiums in a row that's what you need that is really what you need and and from both of your drivers if uh, if it's possible if it's possible now final race final race of the European tour and it is a 43 points for Amor, a 48 point for Disco Jimmy, 39 points for, for Smith, 41 point for Melo. If you want to consider a 31 point of Batista, that is fine. But that is what is going on. And obviously 48 points for Disco Jimmy, man. Three podiums in a row. I'm, I'm telling you, man, if you want to... Get back into a. How can I say this? If you want to. Get back into a championship fight or extend your championship lead. The tours are the way to do it. And right now, this Kojimi is putting the points. He's putting the results where it matters, where it counts. In the latter half of this season, 
Well, obviously, you begin with the UK, but I'm just saying. So, hopefully, it continues for Disco Jimmy. And uh, hopefully, he's gonna get some help from Jimenez compared to Yellow. Look at that 16, 19 points combined. That is, that is horrible. So, one more race to this European Tour. Italy will be 10 laps. And so, I will see you before Italy, or rather, before FX Italy. I will see you for the FY Italian Grand Prix.